Hello everyone, Shane Lawson Gamer here, and today we're looking at an app that's a little different than normal. So this app is called Harfpedia, and besides being able to like look at all your Hearthstone cards and stuff, uh, and it's only on the iPhone by the way, you can all, there's a really cool feature that I'm going to be going over, and it's called the Create a Card feature. So, as you can see, I have a ton of legendaries that aren't in the actual game, but I added them in. So I, this video is just going to teach you guys how to do one of this, and yeah, it's called Card Creator. So sorry about the quality. Here, yeah, I was trying to improve that, but okay, that's a I think that's a little better. But uh, so yeah, let's get started. And as you can see, uh, a few cool features. So like, if you put like Taunt or Overload or another feature, it'll highlight it, it'll bold it, and the different things you uh, here. Let me go over the different things you can do. On this thing. So first of all, we're going to pick a photo from our library. We're going to look at our camera roll. And I was messing around with this a little. So I have a lot bigger. So I'm just going to take my Clash of Clans base. So uh, you can do a lot of cool features. So for example, here, let me like, you can like, when you pinch, you zoom in. Well, it's like you can zoom in on like an air defense or mortar. Or anything in Clash of Clans, or really any other picture you have. So let's say we just want to uh, zoom in on this. Oh, I don't know what I want to zoom in. Zoom in on. Hmm. Uh, we could. Let's just say we zoom in on this. Like, oh, it's so hard to zoom in. Give me a second, guys. Okay, so we zoomed in on a mortar in Clash of Clans. You can you can take a picture of anything and then zoom in on it. So like this, instead of the whole base, you could just have this, and then you can give the card a name. So I'll just call it a uh, mortar. Oh, sorry. Okay, so uh, now we have our own mortar. Now, it, if you don't. The one annoying thing about this app is that if you don't change if you don't change this uh, description, it'll just stay that way, which I find a little annoying. So you have to put something. So for example, I could put, uh, let's say, I wanted to give it like I don't know, uh, taunt or something. I could just put taunt, and there we go. We got our own little mortar with taunt. Don't know why a mortar would have taunt, but that doesn't matter. So we can give it like health, so let's just give it like 5 health, and you can go up to 99 attack, and 99 health, but we're just going to give it 6 health for now, so that's a really cool feature, but there's only a limited amount of room, so for example, if I just say, I could, here, let me just show you how much room it has, so it has quite a bit, but it'll eventually run out, and so you can type a f quite a bit in here until it let's just say you can type in a lot so you can type in a, a whole lot before it stops that's how much you can type in in the, in the uh, description and here's the mana cost so you click on the mana thing the mana crystal and you type in the cost so I'm just type in 8 so, it's an 8 mana Mortar, that's 6-5, it's probably the worst card ever, but you can also add all these little things like, um, Druid, Paladin, Priest, all this stuff at the bottom to make it, like, its own personal class, or you can just keep it blank, but these require a premium, which is 2 bucks, premium gets you a few things, I haven't gotten it, so I can't show you guys, but we're just gonna save, and... The card's been created, and you can tap it to either share it or delete it. So, let's say save image assigned to contact or mail message. Uh, or you can press just delete, and there goes the card. So, I made a few cards. I added a few effects. I actually made a lot of cards. And you can add whatever effects you want. For example, replace health with durability. Battle cry, 25% chance to summon an, uh, another card I made which is this one. So you can do you can type in whatever you want. I even add my cats into them. So like you could 
You can do pretty much whatever you want. I did a lot of Boom Beach and stuff, so I'd like take a picture and then zoom in on it. So, yeah, and that's about it. But let me just show you some of the other features of this app. This app isn't just for that. You you can do Hearthstone News. Car you can look at the card of the day, which just gives you an overview of the card of the day. You can look at all the cards. Uh, you can build your own deck. You can do an arena practice, which is really cool. You can look at all the secrets. All the mechanic, you'll learn about the mechanics, create your own card like I just showed you, and then there's settings. So, yeah, guys, go check out this app. It's on iPhone, and I'm not sure what else, but I think it's on, like, it's not on anything where you can download Hearthstone, because I don't know, but I looked it up on my iPad, it didn't pop up. So, yeah, guys, go check out this app, I, and if it doesn't work on your device, try another device to see if you can find it. But I hope you all enjoyed. My name's been Shane the Awesome Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. And uh, get this video out there so pe more people can learn about it. It's not a very popular app as of now, but it should be. And don't they don't have to watch the video. Just go and download the app. And like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.